This is where your iPhone 6 comes from. These are the first secret pictures from inside the factories that produce for Apple. An exhausted workforce, people sleeping on their brakes, others falling asleep as they work. In 2010, after 14 workers kill themselves at another factory producing iPhones, Apple published promises to protect workers. So have things changed? Our undercover reporters got jobs through agencies, and within minutes, Apple's rules were broken. Everyone in China needs to carry an ID card. Our workers card has been taken. They said they needed to see my ID. When they got it, they didn't return it to me. I demanded that they return it. I felt helpless. They came to work at Pegatron, where iPhones and iPads are assembled. They have to pass a crucial health and safety exam. They will. The answers are chanted out. <laughs> and they're offered a choice whether they want to work nights or do work standing up. But there's no choice. He said if you don't do what the company asks you to do, what is the point of employing you here? Apple told us they've seen no evidence of coaching. On ID cards, Apple says they've done more than any company to prevent the widespread abuse of migrant workers. Once in, our reporters were overwhelmed by the workload. Shifts have overtime built in, so workers regularly do more than 60 hours a week, more than Apple's guidelines. And so workers rested when they could. This iPhone 6 testing area has virtually no one awake. Apple says they'll examine sleeping during production, but napping on breaks is not unusual. Apple has been championing itself as a perfect enterprise, but it is all a facade. I don't think they care about the workers at all. Pegatron, who run the factory, say they are carefully investigating the BBC's claims and will take all necessary actions. Apple say they work with suppliers to prevent excessive overtime and that no other company is doing as much to ensure fair and safe working conditions. What we found were broken promises on the iPhone factory floor. Richard Bilton, BBC News, Shanghai.